We think two to three weeks. I think it's probably the right window on him. Um, he's a strong healer. He's just a big, powerful man. Puts a lot of torque on his joints. So um, we're optimistic, like I think very optimistic, that he'll play uh, in Finland uh, on November 1st and 2nd. He may play prior to that as well, but it may also take us that amount of time. But we think that he should be in that window. Do you have an FG on Adam Hillquist? Should be a gamer tonight. You know, he was ready to play i think last game it just had to get used to that bucket that he's got to wear that's unusual so he got a couple of skates and now he feels good and ready to go patrick giles was called up last yeah. night you had a lot of praise for him during training camp what's one thing that you want to see from him in tonight's game uh, the speed because that's the thing what patty did was so unusual rarely do you take a player who two years ago i would have said his limiting factor is his skating and, and it, two years later it's his strength he's a big man covers the ice but he's worked hard to get there, and he's worked hard to get this opportunity here tonight. So we're, we're, we're cheering for him because he's done it the right way. He developed, he, he put a lot of time into it. Um, so hopefully he goes out and doesn't play a game where he's concerned about making mistakes. We want to see that speed. Obviously, with Barkov, you have some new lineup options. Look, we saw that at least around in Lindo. Yeah. That, obviously, they had success in the playoffs. Is that something you think about going back to here? Uh, yeah. So that's almost the default. Anytime Barkov's out of our lineup, we put that line back together. Um, and it's more the, the production probably. He can play with Sam Bennett. There's just never been great production between the two of them. I don't know. They may have great chemistry now. We just haven't tried it in a long time. So that's the default we go to. Uh, which defense is better? None of them. Uh, Matthew Kachuk's ill, so he won't go today. And we'll address 11 and 7. And Goldener. Spencer Knight. Just expectations for Spencer in his first start. Obviously, his last one of the preseason very strong. So that's the expectation. He had a really good camp. He is he's fantastic. He's more powerful and faster than he was. I mean, he really took the time to do the work. One of the advantages that we had in our playoff run is we've got players here for two months in Florida training. And, and Spencer was in fantastic shape when he came to camp, and he's looked good. Paul, it's October. You can't pick up where you were in June. What did you learn last year about going through the process all over again? to start a new season after going that deep in yeah. the Well, we can't wait for tomorrow either, right? Like, you, you can't decide the idea that you time, that you want to peak at the right time. I, I don't believe in that. I think it's a horrible idea that you would wait six months to get to be good. So just the awareness is it's not going to look perfect every night. Well, we got beat 8-1 in the final. So yeah. it, it, it's not a, a straight line to greatness. You've got to grind every single night. and. We liked our game against Boston. I don't think the Boston loved theirs. Ottawa played very well. We liked two periods of that game. I think we were good in that game. So it's about driving for consistency right now. You don't want to lower the bar by any means. At the same time, you're not going to start where you left off. It's a different team. So we have to build again, go back to zeros, start from the base, and build every day. What's your reaction to Lindy Ruff back in Buffalo. You know what it was like. Well, that seems back. right, doesn't it? That yeah. just that just seems the way it was for so very long, and his teams always played so hard, so well, beat us all the time. I think we came in here one day after Christmas, put up 41 shots, and Dominic Hasek said, I didn't have a tough save all night. <laughs> so, <laughs> good teams here, but it seems right. What is, so you live back in Carolina. What's it like going back to an organization that you had success in getting that second you know what? There's a real, there's there's a a real advantage to the people that know you, right? An advantage to the style. So, I think there's a comfort level that comes back. You know the town. You know the style of hockey that they play. They know you. They understand the game that you're in. So I think that that kind of being able to walk into the room and know half the people in it is a real advantage. Sometimes it takes you a long time to get to know everybody to kind of get your standards set. I think that, you know, the training staff, all that, all that knowledge in the past always gets passed down. So when you walk in the room as the head coach and say, we're doing it this way, everybody already understands that. I think that can be really good. think just getting them to feel comfortable being around the players so the year prior when you lose in the final all of the new guys come in and and they feel like they want to help right they can help you get over the hump possibly and then when you win 
new guys come in and they don't want to mess things up, right? They don't want to. So there's a little bit of that emotional difference walking into the room. Our new guys have been good. Like they, the Bolquist line, Gadjevic, who was who didn't play in the final fours, Bolquist, Gadjevic, and Greer were really good in Ottawa. They've been really good for two games. So that's that's how they do it, right? They kind of probably a little quiet at the start of the year, and then they get out in the games, and they, and they just push themselves, and that's how they get integrated in the room. Thank okay, you. everybody, you're welcome. Thank you.